that's a big one. <laughs> it was my first NAM this year, so just walking in the door was totally ridiculous. Um, so I'm like blown away, still trying to figure out where our stuff is. So, uh, but yeah, I liked um, like the UA had some cool things going on. Um, I looked at some mics. Audix had some cool mics going on. I was like, talking to that guy uh, specifically for mics for me singing. What works best for my voice? Um, I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I was stoked to come check out guys. I hadn't, I hadn't played with it yet, so that was my <laughs> It's always fun to come and, and see other musicians uh, uh, and network in that, in that sense of players coming out to find products and companies that they represent and sponsor. I can't believe the amount of people I've run into down here that are in the business uh, that I've run into on the road or uh, you know, I've known over the years or guys I've heard about but never met, a lot of that. Phenomenal players, almost everybody around is just like scary good. And, uh, and some really incredible equipment. I, yesterday I was looking at saxophones, which was nuts because I, you know, I don't play something. They were having a jam session, all these guys were playing were just. You know, and so I was just standing there watching them. So it, it would take you, this is a miniature version of the loop. You had to spend like four days wandering to see everything. That's what, I'm, that's what I figured out so far. So far, I'm excited to see a little bit more how Geist works, your guys' product. Uh, I've been playing with it a little bit, but there's a couple things that I think if I can figure out are going to blow my mind. Um, I got to see the, uh, the Teenage Engineering, that little synth, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, what was that Teenage, the, the Teenage Software Company thing with that little... I think it's called the OP-1. Um, it's like a tiny little white synth that does all of these crazy things that I got to fiddle with, which I'm real excited about. Seeing all the new innovative products that come out, I saw some cool new drumsticks, for example, like a small thing, but it interested me a lot. And then at BFD, the new Geist was really neat. It looked like it would speed up the process of putting a nice drum track together, and how you can do so many different things in terms of effects in each little portion of the drum group. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Uh, running into a lot of friends is always a blast. Endorse also uh, M Audio and uh, Pro Tools, so I got to hang out at that booth and meet some people talking about the products that I use. There are just so many great things for a player these days, to, to, as far as tools and, and instruments that they can bring into their their home studio environment. And I'm finding it exciting. You know what what we've wished for 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 so long as musicians is here now. I mean the ability to record write music in your home that's of quality and, and it's just a mind blow. We used to have to go in the studio, we'd spend months doing anywhere near what we can do now with all this technology. So I'm having a good time, a little tired, but it's fun. We're definitely uh, in the age of, of, of virtual music making. Um, what this means is that we can access sounds from other artists, from other musicians, from all other places in the world. Right now I'm working on um, two, the two bigger projects is a girl named Kay who's on Interscope and the other one's a girl named Angeli who's on Universal Republic. Um, and they're both kind of left of center uh, pop artists. Kay's kind of a little bit more hip hop leaning and Angeli I would say is a little bit more dance leaning. Uh, but they're both very left of center and uh, I'm just excited to see what happens to both of those projects or one of those projects. Uh, hopefully get something on the radio. That's, that's my goal for 2011. We worked on a remix contest last March with Invalid Music. Um, several of the winners had the option, uh, got the chance to be part of the, the release. You guys jumped in and they got a prize from FX Mansion, which was exciting. And um, that's coming out Tuesday, January 18th. Um, I just released a track with uh, Boom Jinx and Andrew Bear, Matt Lang. Uh, it's called Quad Core. It's out on it in June and Deep. Um, and it was uh, the Trance Around the World's uh, track of the week um, a few weeks ago. So that's that's been cool. Um, other than that, there's a film project that um, under NDA that's we're going to be working on this year, and a couple of collaborations that I think are really exciting. So um, yeah, lots of good stuff. The new Moog stuff's pretty cool. Uh, guys supports, which is really cool.
Tommy Lee with his bodyguards. Yeah, Tommy, cool. we saw Tommy Lee walking yeah, around. Yeah, you know, mouse. that was uh, pretty intense. Yeah, with Dead Mouse. <laughs> Steve Duda from Nerve was cool. Yeah, yeah, Duda was awesome.